Hello Glamour Ghouls and welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Midge Munster and on this channel we do all things campy, kooky, glamorous, and spooky. Today we are doing a video that I have tried to make a tradition at the top of the Halloween season every year because as we get into Halloween decor hunting season we all get very excited about what the big box stores are going to put out like Target and Spirit Halloween and believe me I get very very excited as well to see what they are going to put out each year. However, one of my absolute favorite things to do just in my life and on this channel is to support small spooky businesses that are giving us Halloween year round. And I think sometimes during this big box season, uh, some of our small makers kind of get lost in the mix of the Instagram droves of everyone sharing like that one thing they found at Home Goods that everyone's hunting for. So this video every year is kind of my small way of reminding you all about small businesses and hopefully introducing you to some makers that maybe you're not aware of. So I have around 10 small shops that I want to share with you today. I've kind of categorized them a little bit, but we're going to start at the top with a shop that just kind of covers the gamut of anything you could ever want in a spooky fashion. <laughs> but before we get into today's video, I want to take a moment to thank our sponsor, HelloFresh. You all know I've been working with HelloFresh for quite some time now, and I honestly cannot recommend their service enough. This time of year, as Halloween decor hunting season starts picking up and I'm constantly on the go, it becomes really tempting to stop at the drive through and grab something quick on the way home home and I always know I'm going to feel like garbage afterward. <laughs> but with HelloFresh I don't have to worry about what I'm going to eat when I get home from a long day of decor hunting. With HelloFresh's easy to make recipes and pre-portioned ingredients I can have most dinners on the table in just 35 minutes and I can always count on the fact that the food is going to be delicious. I've had a lot of friends and family asking me about HelloFresh recently because of how expensive groceries have gotten at the grocery store. It saves my husband and I a ton of money every week to do HelloFresh. And it saves me tons of time not having to plan out all of our dinners and go to the store to get those ingredients. And because HelloFresh's ingredients are all pre-portioned, it helps us waste less food, which helps us eat more sustainably. So if you are ready to try HelloFresh for yourself, click the link in my description box or go to HelloFresh.com and use the code MidgeMonster16 for 16 free meals plus three surprise gifts. That's 16 free meals plus three surprise gifts with code MidgeMonster16 at HelloFresh.com. Thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Now let's head back to our small business roundup. So the first maker I'm going to be talking about is M and Sprout. I know y'all have heard me talk about M and Sprout a million times here and on Instagram, but it really is because she is one of my all time favorite shops to shop with as you will see here. So when I say Emmons Sprout has a little bit of everything, I really mean she has a, a little bit of everything. You can get sticker sheets of her designs. With a recent order that I ordered, she sent me all this adorable washi tape. So uh, this one has like ghosts around the side. This one is like purple with jack-o'-lantern hearts. And we've got some pink skulls. She also has these really cute different like hair clips. So these just have like a little barrette on the back. She has all kinds of these in her shop. She has really cute accessories like this jack-o'-lantern beret. I have a couple of different pajama sets from her, including uh, these with like ghosts and skeletons and pumpkins. And these come with like a shirt and short set. And then the most recent purchase I made with her was this set, which is this pink coffin and ghost and candle. <laughs> print. I love these. These are my new favorite jammies. She also sells slippers that are jack-o'-lanterns and bats. I have a pink pair of her bat slippers that I absolutely adore. And one of my favorite purchases from Emin Sprout that I keep right here in my studio is this little Mothman plushie. <laughs> he is so adorable. So as you can see, all of her designs are very like cute and kawaii. So if you're a person like me who likes your spooky with a side of cute, she is a great shop for you to check out. So next I'm going to be focusing on some shops that sell some of my favorite apparel items. First up, you just saw this in my last hunting video, but I had to feature it here as well. This is my new professional decor hunter shirt, and this is from a newer shop to me uh, called Ghoul Rising, and she has a lot of really cute designs. After I wore this shirt in my last video and shared her shop in the description, I had several of you mention that you ordered her code orange items. She has like a tumbler and a couple other things that have ghosts on them and say code orange, so that's very cute as well. I also saw that just recently she added some Hellfire Club items from 
Stranger Things to her shop and I will definitely be purchasing one of those very soon. <laughs> Next up in the apparel category, we have probably my favorite t-shirt maker. Now I have gotten several requests for a t-shirt collection video, much like my earring collection and bag collection videos. And I do have that coming for y'all. I think that's uh, a great thing, great info for you to have this summer so you can have a a hot ghoul summer but not be dying in this heat. But I did want to feature this particular maker in this video because they are one of my all-time favorite designers. I have bought so many shirts from this person and that is Art by LeMay. So I believe you saw this t-shirt in my coffee bar video. Um, it is this t-shirt that says Headless Horseman Comedy Club. You'll laugh your head off. <laughs> I Love, love, love this design. Y'all know I'm absolutely crazy about anything Sleepy Hollow, Headless Horseman themed. I loved the color combinations in this. She also does have it available if you just like the design as a sticker so you don't have to uh, commit to a shirt if you're not one to wear your spooky on your sleeve. You may also recognize Art by LeMay because uh, she designed a couple of t-shirts with me in mind. One of them was this pink keep it spooky retro jack-o'-lantern shirt, which I love. I wear this all the time. She also did another one that I have that has like kind of a boomerang shape with ghosts and all kinds of starbursts. It's very retro and cute and I love ghosts. So I absolutely love her work. Uh, if you're looking for a great spooky t-shirt for the summertime, definitely check her shop out. And finally in apparel, we have Crypt and Coffins. Y'all know that this has been my new favorite shop to shop with. I think in the like three months that I have found her, I have bought four or five orders <laughs> worth of her stuff. I did want to take a minute to mention in this video that her Instagram account was recently wrongfully suspended. Um, and so she is having a lot of trouble trying to get that back up. If you have been Angela's customer before, you likely received a text message updating you on the situation with the shop. But if you didn't, or if you're just now hearing about Crypt and Coffins and you wanna shop with her, you can check out her website, or you can also download her new shop app. It works for iPhone or Android. I will link the place to download that in the description box. Honestly, if you're a fan of hers, I would go ahead and download it because uh, if you've been following along with me this week on Instagram, you know that Instagram has been less than ideal lately and a lot of people's content and things are getting taken down. I had a video taken down this week because I was wearing a sweatshirt with ghost face on it. I wasn't selling anything in the reel. It was literally just a, a creative project and I got flagged by the Scream franchise company. <laughs> So if you have a way to keep up with your favorite content creators or makers outside of Instagram, I highly recommend it. But anyway, let's dive into Crypt and Coffin's products. I love everything she does. So she does do apparel first and foremost. Uh, these are a couple of the items I have from her. One is this Sad Girls Club t-shirt that says on Wednesdays we wear black. Very cute. I also really like her sweatshirts and hoodies. This is one that I have that is a like skeleton hand holding an iced coffee. I really like her stuff because the sizing is really good. I have trouble finding any kind of sweatshirts or hoodies that fit loose on my body. Being a plus size person, it can just be hard to find things that fit like that baggy comfy fit on our bodies. And her sizing is really great where I feel like I'm wearing like a big comfy sweatshirt. So I really appreciate that. One of her other really popular items in her shop are these cute iced coffee kind of to-go mugs. Uh, I showed this one recently in a haul video or a mail unboxing, but it says spooky babe and it's got a little lid and a straw. She has all kinds of cute designs of these, one with ghosts all over them and skeleton hands. I really love these style of cups in the summertime. I think they're a perfect little go cup for whatever you got in your hand, coffee or a lemonade or a tea, whatever keeps you cool in this heat. This is a great little to go cup option. And because these are steam printed with ink, they are dishwasher safe, which is very cool. She also does cute little simple acrylic earrings. I have these little ghosts both in this white glitter and in a pink glitter acrylic. I know all y'all are big fans of all my crazy earrings. I think her earrings are a really good way to kind of dive into the shallow end of earrings. They're not too big. They're still kind of subtle, but they are campy and fun. So if you're looking for a simple, cute, spooky earring, her shop is a great place to start. 
So that is it for apparel, and now we're going to move into some accessory companies. I'm gonna start with one that I'm actually wearing today. So this little Vampira pin is one of my favorite new pins that I wear with this dress specifically all the time because this dress has like a little Vampira <laughs> spider on it. So this pin is from a brand called Ipswich Witch, and I actually found out about her because she sent me a little care package maybe a year ago, and I absolutely love her stuff. I'm so glad she sent me things, otherwise I, I probably wouldn't have known about her. But she does great enamel pin work, and I know a lot of you are fans of little pins for like backpacks and jackets and things. This is a great place to shop for that. So here's a couple other examples of pins that I have from her. These two cute, creepy peepers jack-o'-lanterns with all these eyeballs. I love these pins. She has this awesome Carrie design with like Carrie's silhouette and a big gust of fire. And for all my little Shop of Horror fans, we've got a really cool Audrey 2 pin. She also has another one that I wear a lot that I couldn't find today, but a really cool one from the movie The Love Witch. Overall, I just think they are very clean looking pins. Sometimes when I find enamel pins, they look a little muddled and you can't read them from a distance. Hers, I feel, wear almost like a small brooch. They're very detailed, but very like legible. And I just love the designs. Next up, we have another maker who makes enamel pins, but also makes great keychains and patches. And that is my friend Aiden from the shop Bukimi. Aiden also runs a great channel here on YouTube called Aiden Haunts. If you're not subscribed to him already, I would highly recommend it. I kind of feel like Aiden is my, you know, like how drag families have like, you have like a drag mom or a drag daughter. I feel like Aiden is my YouTube son, like whatever, <laughs> whatever the equivalent of like a drag house is. Aiden is a part of my like haunted house, haunted house, H-A-U-S. <laughs> But yeah, his channel is wonderful. He also does decor hunting and he runs his own small business, which is so cool uh, for someone his age. He's just doing so much and already has like a thousand times more confidence than I did at his age. <laughs> but for those of you who are also decor hunters like Aiden and I, he makes very cute accessories. One of them that I love is this keychain that says Halloween decor hunter. It's made really nicely. It's like embroidered on leather. He makes these. But if a keychain or a patch is not your thing, he does also have a enamel pin version as well. And he was so sweet when he sent me those. He also sent me my own little midge patch. Isn't that so cute? So I really want to get kind of like a an old school kind of 50s like letterman jacket and put this on there and then maybe get a big patch that says Halloween decor hunter or like um, glamour ghoul or something and put it on the back. I think that would be really, really cute. But Aiden is putting out all kinds of new designs all the time. He's got a really cute Elvira keychain right now. He did a really neat Headless Horseman one last year that I think he brought back. Overall, if you like me, you will like his shop because I swear he makes stuff that is like from my brain. <laughs> and then lastly, in the accessories category, we're gonna talk about one more artist that does make enamel pins, um, but this is also gonna be kind of our segue into the next category, which is art and artists. Now, all of these people are artists, of course, but I'm talking about people who make prints that you could hang on the walls of your home. I am so excited. This care package literally got here today, right before I filmed this video, and I'm so happy that it did. I have been a big fan of this person's art for a long time, and she ended up reaching out to me and asked if I would like to have a few things that I could show on the channel, and I said, uh, absolutely. <laughs> so this artist is Carrie Ann Hudson Art, and I already owned one piece from her that I bought, I want to say, like, two years ago maybe. Um, it's this little enamel pin that looks like a tiki drink, but it's a little jack-o'-lantern. Isn't that the cutest thing? So she does a whole line of Hello Tiki stuff, which is literally like right up my alley. If y'all didn't know that about me, I am a huge tiki file. I am a part of a tiki group here in Kansas City where we like go to each other's home bars and learn about the culture and the history of tiki and make beverages. It's very, very cool. And it is my hope that in the next year I will be building my own tiki bar here in my house. And of course, it's going to be spooky. <laughs> so I'm really, really excited that Carrie's art exists. So in this care package she sent me today, she sent me three enamel pins. I love this one. This is a 
planchette that says Aloha. I think that is so, so cute. I hope it's reading on the monitor. We have another one kind of like my jack-o'-lantern, but it's a ghost tiki drink. And then we have the Beatles juice with a little sandworm wrapping around it. So cute. So that's one way you can purchase Carrie's art is in the form of an enamel pin, but she does also have prints of her art available. She has a wide array of different prints. She was kind enough to send me three different ones and I'm so excited because I am going to hang these in my home tiki bar. I actually had these saved on Etsy and I showed her what I had saved and she sent them to me and I thought that was so sweet. So first up we have the print of the Beatles juice. So much fun. Secondly, we have a print of the jack-o'-lantern tiki drink, like my first enamel pin. I love this. I love the little spiderweb umbrella. And then lastly, and probably my favorite, this was the one I was really, really hoping she might send. It is this Ouija board rum barrel tiki drink with a ghost and a planchette. How freaking adorable is that? And these are just a few of these prints. She has lots of other iterations. She has a bunch of witchy ones, one that's like a cauldron. I think her art is just superb. I love that she's found this really awesome way to blend spooky and tiki. So if any of those ring your bell, definitely check out Carrie Ann Hudson art. Okay, so we have reached our last category and that is spooky self-care. So the first shop I wanna talk about is Twisted Allure. If you've been in the spooky community long enough, I'm sure you may have heard of Twisted Allure. She is probably one of the most prevalent makers of spooky bath bombs and soaps. I have purchased with her a couple of times, but she was kind enough to send me a few bath bombs to show on the channel, and I'm very excited to show you these ones. So the first, which will probably come as no surprise, is this awesome sandworm bath bomb called Death by Sandworm. And I can, I can smell it through the packaging. It smells so clean and fresh. It smells like clean cotton. It's really, really nice. And of course, if you know me, you know my other favorite scary movie is Trick or Treat, as my tattoo would suggest. And so she sent me two Trick or Treat bath bombs. The first is a little Sam head. How beautiful and detailed is that? I can't believe this is a bath bomb. The back of it is orange. And this one is a warm cedar, spicy clove, and dark amber. And again, I can smell it through the plastic. It smells incredible. This one just has like a warm fall, like musky smell. And then on the total opposite end of the spectrum, we have Sam's Lollipop. Again, how cute is that with the little blood on the corner? Like he's just used it to stab somebody. <laughs> and this one is Sweet Sticky Caramel. But I will say it has like a nice... It almost smells fruity to me. It smells really... Uh, her scents are very subtle. Like they smell strong like there there is a scent but they're not sickening if that makes sense it smells awesome i think twisted allure is an especially great shop if you are looking to buy a gift for someone spooky in your life they're a really great way to give somebody something spooky but also like to take care of themselves and give themselves a little self-care if they're going through a hard time and it just makes it extra fun to like take a bath or a shower <laughs> and if you're gonna take a bath you might want to light some candles so the last company we're gonna talk about y'all know is a favorite of mine and that is the american nightmare candle company this candle company is so fun she makes scents based on locations from famous horror films i own a crap ton of her candles <laughs> but some of my favorites i love this one for summertime this is the Camp Crystal Lake, which is of course from Friday the 13th. This one has citrus, oak moss, and pine, and it absolutely smells like being outside at a camp. Like it smells so good. You can kind of see that I've already burned quite a bit of it because I really like this one. I have a miniature version of this one. This is also a great summer scent. It's the Amity Island from Jaws. And this one's grapefruit, ginger, and vanilla. It just has a really like bright, fresh smell. If you like a citrus smell, this is really, really good. But my absolute favorite candle that she makes is the Haddonfield, Illinois candle, 
which is of course from John Carpenter's Halloween. And this one is cinnamon, apple, and pecan. And it smells like fall in a jar. It is so incredible. Like when I smell it, I get, I get giddy. I feel like it's rare to find a candle that smells really fall-esque that isn't like base note in pumpkin. <laughs> And I like pumpkin fine, but I really love like spicy scents and nutty scents, scents that smell like warm baked goods. This somehow smells like a pumpkin patch without any pumpkin in it, and I love it. And I know this is the time of the year where we're all gonna start getting gaga over whatever Bath & Body Works releases for Halloween. But what I will say is what I really like about her soy wax candles is that if you are like me and you get scent or smell migraines, um, I get really triggered by Bath & Body Works candles. As much as I like them and I like to look at them, I hardly ever burn them because they make me sick uh, after just a few minutes of being lit. These candles do not do that at all. The scents smell very light and natural in the house without being overpowering. I have yet to get a migraine from one of her candles. So you have Midge's honor <laughs> that hopefully if you are a smell migraine person, these candles will not affect you. So that is it today for the spooky small business roundup. I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video and that maybe you got introduced to a maker or artist that you weren't familiar with before. Remember to check out the links for all these shops in the description box below. Y'all know that we love to Halloween decor hunt on this channel, but if we each take even like $20 that we were going to spend at Target or at home this season and spend it with one of these small businesses instead, it would make such a difference. That amount of money means nothing to a large corporation, but it means everything to small makers like these. And glamorous, glamorous ghouls love to support small businesses. Thank you again to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Remember, you can get 16 free meals and three surprise gifts when you use the link in my description box and the code MidgeMonster16 at checkout. And of course, as always, remember the best way to support this channel is by subscribing if you aren't already. We are in the height of Halloween season and you are not gonna wanna miss a single video here on the channel. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your little bell notification so you know when I post. We would love to have you be a part of the Glamour Ghoul Gang. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And until next time, keep it campy, kooky, glamorous, and spooky. Bye. Come out to social.